These foods that burn fat are probably the greatest news to people cutting weight. The amount of people going to the gym on a regular basis has never been higher. The reasons why people go to a gym differ of course, some go to get better at their sport. Others go for stress relief. But it's obvious that most people go to keep on top of their body fat levels. However, for most of us, the hard work we put in each week just doesn't seem to be yielding the results we hoped for. Talk to 90% of people in your average local gym. And they'll tell you that they are struggling to get to a body fat level they'll be happy with. The reason most people don't see the results they'd like is because they haven't paid enough attention to the most important aspect of any training regime, nutrition. Whether you're looking to build muscle, get fitter, or lose fat, the training is the easy part, nutrition is where things get tricky. Going into the gym for 40 minutes, three times per week is not difficult if you are motivated enough. For most people, the gym is a fun, social place, and it's obvious when you've worked hard enough. This is why so many people make basic mistakes when it comes to nutrition. Which in turn is why so few people make the progress they thought they would. If you've got your training on point and the scale has stopped moving, then it's almost certain that the problem lies with your nutrition. Thankfully, there are some really easy ways that you can optimize your diet for burning fat. All you need to do is incorporate a few key foods into your diet. Contrary to what many people believe, there are a number of foods that burn fat in and of themselves. Sure, there are lots of foods out there that are overhyped. The next superfood seems to come along every couple of months. But just because some people exaggerate the power of raspberry ketones, for example, doesn't mean there aren't foods which can genuinely help you lose body fat. Listed below are our top 10 recommended foods for burning fat. Not all of them work in the same way. And some are much more potent than others. But one thing they all share is that they have been scientifically proven to help with fat loss. By adding some of these foods into your regular diet. Or by consuming more of the ones you already eat on a regular basis. You might finally start to see the scale moving in the right direction. Unlike other lists of this kind. We're only going to list foods that have been proven to burn fat through rigorous scientific study. If we can't find a research paper proving its fat-burning credentials, then it isn't on the list. The health benefits of drinking green tea on a regular basis are well known nowadays. But few people know of the fat-burning potential of white tea. A study published in the journal Nutrition and Metabolism in 2009 found that a concentrated white tea extract was able to both bring about lipolysis fat-burning to you and me. Astoundingly. Researchers also found that the white tea extract was able to prevent the formation of new fat cells. Called adipocytes. It shouldn't come as a surprise that spinach is listed here as a food known to burn fat. But what might be surprising is just how comprehensive a fat burner spinach turns out to be. For instance, take a look at this study which looked at thylakoid-rich spinach extract and its effect on appetite and dieting success. The results were fairly conclusive compared to placebo. Intake of thylakoids significantly reduced hunger 21% reduction. Increased satiety 14% increase. Reduced cravings for all snacks and sweets during the day 36% reduction. As well as cravings for salty 30%, sweet 38%, and sweet and fat 36% snacks. Respectively. And decreased subjective liking for sweet 28% reduction. If you struggle with food cravings while trying to lose weight. Spinach could be a cheap. Healthy. Effective solution. Coconut oil is a very popular product right now. And with very good reason. It is thought to help with everything from joint health to heart health. Most importantly for us. It is also known to enhance fat loss. Unlike other oils. Coconut oil is composed predominantly of fatty acids called medium chain triglycerides. Or MCTs. And unlike other fatty acids. These MCTs can be used directly by cells for fuel. Any fat MCTs that aren't used are converted into ketones in the liver and used by the brain for fuel. Available studies show that MCTs are not readily stored as fat. Tip, swapping sunflower oil for coconut oil can be a good first step to accelerating your rate of fat loss. We doubt you've heard beans recommended as a food that burns fat before. But hear us out. A recent study found that eating just three quarters of a cup of pulses black beans. Kidney beans. Chickpeas etc. was linked to greater weight loss than control. While the results were modest. The trial lasted for only six weeks. And no effort was made to interfere in the diet of participants in any other way. 
Participants kept eating whatever else they wanted through the day, but the group eating three quarters of a cup of legumes lost more weight on average. Tip, replace fatty beef in your recipes with black beans and kidney beans. Fried or stewed. They're delicious. Filling. And they'll help blast away body fat. Green coffee beans aren't as exotic as they sound. They are simply coffee beans in their raw, unroasted form. The coffee beans we are all familiar with, the ones used to make our morning drinks, are green coffee beans which have been roasted. Green coffee beans contain a high concentration of a compound called chlorogenic acid. Much of this stuff is denatured during the roasting process, so it is only found in regular coffee in tiny amounts. Well, chlorogenic acid turns out to be an incredibly effective, scientifically proven fat burner. This stuff has been shown time and again to help people lose body fat at a significant rate. More research is needed on how chlorogenic works exactly. But there is little doubt that it works primarily by affecting insulin secretion. Tip, try having a cup of coffee made from unroasted beans in the morning instead of your usual cup of java. Of all of the foods that burn fat listed here, garlic is perhaps the most underrated. Regular garlic consumption is linked to a wide range of health benefits. But a growing number of studies are finding that garlic's most impressive property may be its ability to help with fat loss. This study found that a compound found in abundance in garlic, allicin, was able to prevent weight gain in mice fed a high sugar diet. It seems that garlic is most useful in preventing weight gain at the end of a diet. When overeating is most common. As the study authors noted, the difficulty of preventing weight gain after reaching the nadir of weight loss underscores the practical value of allicin for weight control. Another food known to help prevent rapid weight gain after dieting is grapefruit. A study published in 2014 found that mice fed a high-fat diet and large quantities of grapefruit juice experienced an 18.4% drop in body weight compared to mice fed the same diet without the grapefruit juice. The same study also found that grapefruit juice was able to induce weight loss and an improvement in insulin sensitivity after the mice had already reached obesity. So grapefruit juice seems to be both a powerful and versatile weapon in your weight loss arsenal. Whether you've just finished dieting and worried about the yo-yo effect, or you're overweight and want to maximize your rate of fat loss, grapefruit juice might be able to help. Tip, if you have an intense workout coming up. Trying sipping grapefruit juice throughout. Or try squeezing some fresh grapefruit juice into your water bottle before heading to the gym. Pumpkin seeds don't have any direct fat-burning properties of their own. Yet they are still a powerful tool for anyone looking to speed up their rate of fat loss. That's because pumpkin seeds can only be described as nutritional goldmines of benefits related to fat loss. Dark chocolate gives us one of the things which makes so many of us crave chocolates as strongly, phenylethylamine. Yet it doesn't have the same sugar content as milk chocolate. Defeating cravings for our favorite foods can be the biggest obstacle to a successful diet. If you have a sweet tooth, indulging in some dark chocolate can help keep you on track. Tip, keep one bar of extra dark, low sugar chocolate in the house. If you're hit with a serious Hershey's craving, just break off a small square and enjoy it slowly. Whenever people hear that chili peppers can help you lose fat. They almost always understand why without needing it explained to them. It is intuitively obvious. Assuming you've eaten spicy food before. Chili peppers contain an oil called capsaicin. It is an irritant. Which is why we get such a glorious, or horrendous. Depending on perspective burning sensation when we eat chili peppers. Well. One thing that also happens when we consume capsaicin is that our body temperature increases. When our body temperature goes up. Our body needs to work harder to keep us cool. It therefore expends more energy regulating our core temperature. And in expending more energy, it uses up more calories. Simple. Don't just take our word for it though. Check out this study, in which researchers examined capsaicin's relationship with fat oxidation and energy expenditure. Tip, there's no need to go crazy here. But try introducing a few spicy meals per week. Whatever you make. Make it with fresh chili to get all the capsaicin you can. Biomed Central, white tea extract induces lipolytic activity and inhibits adipogenesis in human subcutaneous pre, adipocytes the National Center of Biotechnology Information, consumption of thylakoid-rich spinach extract reduces hunger. Increases satiety and reduces cravings for palatable food in overweight women authority nutrition, how coconut oil can help you lose weight and belly fat science daily, eating beans. Peas. 
Chickpeas or lentils may help lose weight and keep it off fat burners digest. Do green coffee beans help with fat loss? The National Center of Biotechnology Information, the effects of allicin on weight in fructose-induced hyperinsulinemic. Hyperlipidemic. Hypertensive rats plus consumption of clarified grapefruit juice ameliorates high-fat diet-induced insulin resistance and weight gain in mice the world's healthiest food, pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds deliver sizable amounts of key minerals and vitamins with minimal calories. Just 100 grams of pumpkin seeds will give you over 100% of your RDI of zinc and magnesium. A big helping of omega-3 fatty acids. Almost 20 grams of protein. Lots of iron. And all for about 350 calories. Tip, snack on pumpkin seeds if you struggle with grazing throughout the day. Not only will the fats and protein help fill you up, but you'll be getting more nutrients than you will snacking on chips. Dark chocolate has always been touted as a food that burns fat. But this isn't just hype, there is a great deal of evidence to back this claim up. It may surprise you to learn that dark chocolate is associated with a wide range, cron, the effect of dark chocolate for reducing weight science focus, why does chocolate make us happy? The National Center of Biotechnology Information, acute effects of capsaicin on energy expenditure and fat oxidation in negative energy balance. Julie McCormick, Julie McCormick is a writer and co-owner of the Cleveland Leader. A Technorati Top 1000 site. Read full profile. Have you ever noticed that some people are able to effortlessly remember even the most mundane details and quickly comprehend new things? Well, you can too. Learning how to improve memory isn't as difficult as you might think. To unlock the full potential of your brain, you need to keep it active and acute. Wasting time on your couch watching mindless television shows or scrolling through social media is not going to help. Besides getting out flashcards. What can you do to help remember things better and learn new things more quickly? Check out these 10 effective strategies on how to improve memory. Physical activities don't just exercise the body, but it also helps to exercise your brain. Obesity and the myriad of diseases that eventually set in as a result of being overweight can cause serious harm to the brain. So when learning how to improve memory, exercise is king. Furthermore, without regular exercise, plaque starts to build up in your arteries and your blood vessels begin to lose the ability to regulate blood flow. Plaque buildup reduces the amount of oxygen and nutrients that your blood carries to your brain. When the nutrients don't make it there, the brain's ability to function is compromised. One study in particular found that exercising four hours after learning significantly improved memory retention. The researchers suggested that appropriately timed physical exercise can improve long-term memory and highlight the potential of exercise as an intervention in educational and clinical settings. To improve your memory, make sure you get moving every day. Even if it's just a brisk walk, it'll help you maintain and increase your mental acuity. Brisk walking, swimming, and dancing are all excellent activities. If you have trouble finding time to fit in a workout, check out this article, 5 Ways to Find Time for Exercise. Any risk factors that cause you major stress, like anger or anxiety, will, in time, begin to eat away the parts of your brain that are responsible for memory. Amongst the most brain-damaging stressors is depression, which is actually often misdiagnosed as a memory problem since one of its primary symptoms is the inability to concentrate. One study assessed memory in 3,999 veterans and found that depressive symptoms, without anxiety, had an adverse effect on immediate recall of new information and the total amount, but not rate, of acquisition. If you can't concentrate, then you might feel like you are constantly forgetting things. Depression increases the levels of cortisol in your bloodstream, which elevates the cortisol levels in the brain. Doctors have found that increased cortisol diminishes certain areas of the brain especially the hippocampus, which is where short-term memories are stored. Prolonged depression can thus destroy your brain's ability to remember anything new. Seek professional help to combat your depression and any stressors causing it, your brain will thank you. Getting a consistent 7-8 to eight hours of sleep each night will help you in your task of learning how to improve memory. During sleep, the brain firms up memories of recently acquired information, especially during REM sleep. Getting enough sleep will help you get through the full spectrum of nocturnal cycles that are essential to optimal brain and body functioning during the waking hours. On the contrary, sleep deprivation can put a huge dent in your ability to form memories. Another helpful strategy is to take a nap during the day, especially after learning something new. This can also help you to retain those memories. 
as well as recharge your brain and keep it sharper longer. However, the length of your nap is also very important. Scientists, in one study, found that people who napped for 30 to 90 minutes experienced better word recall. 50 to 60 percent of the brain's overall weight is pure fat, which is used to insulate its billions of nerve cells. The better insulated a cell is, the faster it can send messages, and the quicker you can think. This is precisely why parents are advised to feed their young children whole milk and to restrict dieting. Their brains need fat to grow and work properly. Skimping on fats can be devastating, even to the adult brain. Thus, eating foods that contain a healthy mix of fats is vital for long-term memory. Some excellent food choices include fish, especially anchovies, mackerel, and wild salmon, and dark, leafy green vegetables. Deep-fried foods obviously contain fat, but their lack of nutritional value is not going to help your brain or your body. So think healthy foods and fats first. According to Larry McCleary, MD, author of the Brain Trust Program, an egg is the ideal breakfast. Eggs contain B vitamins, which help nerve cells burn glucose antioxidants that protect neurons against damage, and omega-3 fatty acids that keep nerve cells firing at optimal speed. If you want to learn how to improve memory, breakfast is incredibly important. Other foods to add to your breakfast include fruits, veggies, and lean proteins. Avoid trans fats and high fructose corn syrup. Trans fats diminish the brain cell's ability to communicate with each other. And one study found that HFCS can actually damage the brain by promoting brain insulin resistance. Having a healthy breakfast in the morning has been shown to improve performance throughout the day. Don't skimp on this important meal. Nowadays, it's fairly uncommon to write down notes with a pen and paper. When we go to class or meetings, we take our laptops and use that to mark down important ideas. However, recent research has suggested that maybe doing this more harm than good. One 2014 study found that even when laptops are used solely to take notes, they may still be impairing learning because their use results in shallower processing. You can start a journal, write yourself emails, or even start keeping a blog. All of these activities will help to improve your capacity to remember and memorize information. Most importantly, if you're going to class or to a big meeting, consider taking notes by hand instead of on your computer. Research shows that certain types of music are very helpful in recalling memories. Information that is learned while listening to a particular song or collection can often be recalled by thinking of the song or playing it mentally. Songs and music can serve as cues for pulling up particular memories. If you're looking into learning how to improve memory, this can be a great thing to try. Listening to music has been shown to specifically benefit the memorization of words. One study found that young adults who listen to music while memorizing a list of words, as opposed to listening to environmental sounds or silence, performed better when asked to recall the words. Next time you have to memorize a speech of want to compete in a spelling bee, try listening to music while studying. You may be surprised by how much it helps. Pay attention to photographers, charts and other graphics that might appear in your textbook, or if you're not studying a book. Try to pull up a mental image of what it is you are trying to remember. It might also help to draw your own charts or figures. Or utilize colors and highlighters to group related ideas in your notes. Another strong visualization technique for memory is the memory palace. This essentially involves imagining a place you know well, your house or a former school. For example, listing distinctive features of the place in your mind. And begin to associate those features with things you want to remember. Then. When you need to recall information, you simply go the specific room or object where you stored the information in your mind, and it will come to you. For more information on how to build a memory palace, check out this article, How to Build a Memory Palace to Remember More of Everything. Reading material out loud has been shown to significantly improve memory of the material. Expanding further upon this idea is the fact that psychologists and educators have found that by having students teach new concepts to others. It helps to enhance understanding and recall. One study pointed out that this increased memory specifically because it forced students to recall the information in order to teach it. Teach new concepts and information to a friend or study partner. And you'll find you remember the information a lot better. Studies have shown that doing crossword puzzles, reading, or playing cards on a daily basis helps to delay memory loss. Especially in those who experience cognitive decline in the form of dementia. So. 
Pick up the daily newspaper and work on that crossword puzzle. Read a book. Or enjoy a game of solitaire if you want to boost your memory. Everyone has the ability to learn how to improve memory and boost their brain power. And everyone will find that different strategies work for them. Try out some of the above in order to get a feel for what works for you. Current biology, physical exercise performed 4 hours after learning improves memory retention and increases hippocampal pattern similarity during retrieval archives of clinical neuropsychology, the effects of depression and anxiety on memory performance sleep medicine, memory. Sleep and dreaming, experiencing consolidation Johns Hopkins Medicine, can a nap boost brain health. Current neuropharmacology, impact of dietary fats on brain functions nutrients, dietary omega-3 fatty acid deficiency and high fructose intake in the development of metabolic syndrome. Brain metabolic abnormalities. And non-alcoholic fatty liver disease psychological science, the pen is mightier than the keyboard, advantages of longhand over laptop note taking music I science I, the positive effect of music on source memory applied cognitive psychology, the learning benefits of teaching, a retrieval practice hypothesis J in neurocycle SOC, association of crossword puzzle participation with memory decline in persons who develop dementia. Text source, lifehack.org.